Hello, I'm Charles Zucker, and please take a look at this. San Diego, truly America's finest city. When I came from Chile, I had two pesos in my pocket. But now my pool has more water than Lake Titicaca. Over the next 10 weeks, 10 competitors will be trying to emulate my success and become a Howard Hughes investigator. Nine will be sent home, but to write in other ones reusing pipette tips on shopping at the UTC mall. The competitor who succeeds needs only two things, to be hardworking like me, and of course, genetically superior like me. Come, let me show you the life of an investigator. I tell you, at the end of the day, there is nothing more satisfying than sitting back, relaxing, and knowing that you are a genius. You see this? Cuban. From Havana. This port aged 15 years. Now, sit back, relax, and find out who will fail, who will succeed, and who will become the investigator. I've invited all of you here today because you are the finest faculty UCSD has to offer. And given that UCSD is the finest institution on this entire planet, you guys are the finest faculty on the entire planet, in my eyes. However, all of you do not have something that I have. Three things that I have and you do not. And that is power, glory, and money. And that is why you're here today, to try and get them. And I am going to be giving one of you these three things. At the end, one of you will be getting a Howard Hughes Investigator Grant. Now, throughout this competition, I'm going to have two people be my eyes and my ears. On my right, Professor Harvey Carton. He is the finest mind in the industry. Harvey's been with us for 30 years. Sailor by night, scientist by day. I trust him more than I trust Jesus. On my left, we have Marla Feller, the beautiful, the young. However, do not let her looks deceive you. She has a sharp mind and a sharper tongue. Now, before we begin, are there any further questions? Terry, what are you doing here? Don't you already have an investigator award? Uh, so, actually, uh, I'm here to earn a little extra money uh, for the Comp Neuro Program. Our funding uh, is about to expire. You know, actually, I already have one too, but I think women in neuroscience 
need to be more aggressive. So I actually want to get a second grant because why not, you know? Oh, Sasha, 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 let me explain something to you. You're new to the HHMI club. Since you are the youngest chicken on the block, I have to tell you, there is a pecking order. Your money has been diverted to fund this competition. In this case, one plus one grant will not equal two, it will only equal one. Good luck. Now before we begin, we need to know what to call you. Now I've divided you up into two teams. Each team, I need a team name. This team, what is your name? Well, friend, we're the Edinger Westfall Nuclear. The Edinger Westfall Nuclear? That is a stupid name. How about you guys? What are you going to be? We're team postsynaptic density. Team postsynaptic density. Great right, PSD. 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 Okay. Well, we're going to go with that uh, despite my reservations, and uh, let's move forward. In week one, I gave the teams the simplest task possible. Make a science fair project. Team Edinger Westfall Nuclei gah, decided to make a model volcano, but one team member took it to the next level. No, actually, David, uh, it says here that uh, a very important ingredient in a real volcano is sulfuric acid. Now, it turns out that if we want to get the right concentration of sulfuric acid, uh, it's going to be all right, because concentration doesn't scale with absolute size. So, really, a small amount of sulfur for a small volcano. Mushroom cloud snakes skyward. Teddy succeeded in taking it to the next level. San Diego went to terror level red. So, I mean, I, I mean, all the, you know, all the simulations showed it was going to work. I, I don't know. Meanwhile, the post synaptic density was hard at work under compost-powered vehicle. EJ's incredible flexibility guaranteed Edinger Westfall Nuclei would be spending time with me in the conference room. <laughs> Daddy, what happened? I really think it's it's far beyond the, the P um, less than 0.05 level, and you know this is one. Of, it's got to be true that one of the experiments, you know, has a P less than, than 5 percent. Right. Terry, Terry, that's a, that's a, that's enough. That's enough. Harvey, what did you think? You were there. Terry, a llama's ingrown ass hair could have done a better job than you. <laughs> Crap! I weathered 50 foot waves in my dinghy, but you, you're just a worthless piece. <laughs> Terry Winkle. Ask his Well, Terry, I'm sorry. You're fired. In week two, the teams had to make an accurate representation of a neuron. EJ took the lead for Team PSD. Welcome, people. This is our circle. We'll make it a circle of truth. Everyone can contribute. I have leech cell fills from boot camp. Lots and lots of leech cell fills. Right. That's not going to work, but because of budget cuts this year, the die faded out in like five minutes. Yeah, and who the f cares about leeches anyway, Bill? Come on. Oh, Jeff, don't be so hard on him. Bill, I think that's a great idea. Let's hear him out. Listen, you bring the cell fills. I'll show you my contribution. While Team PSD was using alternative means of exploring neuronal circuitry, David Kleinfeld was bringing things into a sharper focus. Guys, leave this one to me.
resolution of the image we took with the two photon pinhole interferometer was only diffraction limited by the wavelength of light we we're using. And if you know how to make the point spread function of a spherical lens go to zero, <laughs> I'd like to see you do it. Team PSD freaked out and had a bad trip to my conference room. DJ, explain this. It's a beautiful representation of the American cell wrapping it on its arms around the retinal ganglia. Isn't it great, Marla? Uh huh. Yeah, I don't get it. EJ, I've seen a lot of bad art in my day. I was alive in the 80s. And believe me, man, this is the worst piece of shit I have ever seen in my entire life. Well, that's just your opinion, man. EJ! My opinion is your ass is fired! Any imbecile could attempt the next task. However, only a few can truly master it. Ask a good question at the seminar. Are there any other questions? Yes. Yeah, so, so how can cannabinoids have any sort of long-term effects in the system? I mean, they're out, they're out of the brain in a few hours. How can you say that there's any long-lasting effect? Well, that's a very good question, actually. It's I know it is a good question, but I got another question. I was wondering, when you were filling your anticellular electrodes, did you make sure to get all the bubbles out? I mean, you just got to you know, tap those and make sure those all come out. Yeah. Because if you don't, I mean, where are these ions going to go? They're not going to just jump through the air. So it's really important. I mean, with techniques like that, you could, you could really win a theorist award. Uh, speaking of, I can even do this in vitro. My good physicist friend, John Caulfield, 20 years ago, saw this in a very similar system. He, he just literalized like this 10th order nonlinear dynamical system. I mean, you see as well, you know, I don't want to really keep you, but uh, I really need to use a whiteboard to explain this. Okay, so he started out with the basic Nogamo model involving a, a fast and a slow variable epsilon like intercellular dynamics. Um, well, this is, okay, this is going to seem like it has nothing to do with it, but in the whisking system, all right, so, so this is a rat, right? You know, it's, it likes to eat cheese and all this. But uh, it also likes to whisk back and forth. So I was wondering what you were thinking about whether or not your system had anything to do with the muscular response in the system. Do you, do you have any thoughts? Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I can download a slide, so if you just move out of the way for a second now. <laughs> My website should be up. David, David, shut the f up. Okay, why do we have to walk all the way from the top to come here? I mean, that's a complete waste of energy. And we're talking kinetic energy. That's half MD squared. So, oh man, I have to figure that out. I have to know how much you weigh. Enough! I, just, I can't take this any longer, it's less than listening to Bush! Kleinfeld, you're a very bright guy. I really like that. But you have to learn when to listen and when to talk. Right now, you just need to shut up and get out of my conference room. You're fired! Wait, wait, so am I fired or am I fired fired? You're fired! Out! Every investigator has a great mind, but only Two hands. Nick excelled at the next task, recruiting graduate students. In Italy, I grew up watching Bonanza. Nick, he came right out of the set. He saw Western charm. He's wonderful, and he makes a great of a pasta. Though Nick found the task easy, the other contestants had a little more difficulty. Do you like greens? No! Oh my god, you don't like brains, but they help you see everything. The world is controlled through a brain. Hey, uh, you don't want to join a lab? Do you like neuroscience? <laughs> oh my god, okay. it's the most interesting subject in the entire world. Yeah, it's all about the cerebellum. Can I ask you a question? Please? Can I ask you a question? Hey, uh, what kind of music are you listening to? Huh? What kind of music are you listening to? I don't know, man. These are these these students are just. I I can't find any that would even that would even be good anyway. It's not even worth it. I tell you. Jeff and Sasha were not the only two falling flat that day. Two past contestants showed up with a half baked scheme. David, is that you? What are you doing? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so after we lost the contest, uh, we sort of needed some more money to help out the program. Uh, you want to buy something? But there's no baked goods. These are all raw yeah, materials. You're talking to you. Good seeing you, Raj. Oh, I have, you're going hey, to you're done working. The first approximation, I I this I is cake. I might consider working next quarter. Okay. Can I buy something? No, David, no. Oh, crap. This is a big deal. 
So, that was Perry. But yeah, Perry. Hi. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, Beatrice uh, had to be at the Pentagon again, so um, I stayed up all night baking the cake myself. Jeff cracked under the pressure and ended up in my conference room. It's, it's, it's stupid. Anyway. Jeff, 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 what are you trying to do? Are you trying to fire yourself? Leave that to me. You're fired. Oh, and one more thing. Sun gets out about uh, 3.30 tomorrow. If you could, I'll just bring him by my house, that'd be great. It was time to separate the contenders from the pretenders. I had each team member give a brief scientific presentation. The modulated expression of pheromones emitted from JLo's ass induced both Ben Affleck's wedding proposal and hasten their subsequent breakup. So uh, we have a circuit here, and this circuit makes an inhibitory synapse into the hippocampus. Get it? Capesce. Lisa, give me one reason I should not fire you right now. Well, um, it, you know, I thought I, I delivered a pretty fantastic talk. I thought that my, my speech was very informative. You know, I discussed the vulnerable nasal organ. I discussed pheromones and their potential role in human interactions. Um, but, you know, to be honest, I don't think that Massimo should be fired either. I, I think he did a fantastic job as well. You know, I learned a lot from his talk. And um, although, you know, maybe I would say that it might have been a little more clear if you pronounced some of the words pronounce? more well, they correctly. Well, pronounce okay, but they, what are you talking about? Well, like, for instance, the word synapse? Synapse! Synapse! How do you pronounce synapse? Synapse! Mi fai un cazzo! E tu ha! E c'è! C'è! Lo sas! E magnifico! But that's not science! Okay, I've heard enough, I've heard enough. Lisa, you are a very beautiful woman, but I have one question. Could you just clear something up for me? How do you pronounce synapse? Eh? Carla, it's Harvey Synapse, right? I mean, it's... No, it's synapse. Now you take yourself and get out of my conference room and you can take your stories about ass sniffing hormones with you. Leave that to Larry Katz. You're fired. Yeah! Synapse! In the next task, getting your students to graduate and get on with their life, Team PSD began to butt heads. Baka, please, you've got to get out of the lab. You've done what? Two, three experiments? Ben, what are you doing? You are going to lose the task for this team. Get Shh. it together. Baka's still sleeping. <laughs> What's going on, Ben? You have to send out a very stern email clearly stating the program requirements. But Baka doesn't check his email. Ben, Ben. To bake a cake, you, you must first grind the wheat into flour. But, and then? And once it has been baking for a while, that's when you take it out of the oven before it gets burnt. Anurvan, you're a pretty good guy, but you need a little bit more experience. I mean, yeah, you're hip with the kids with your alcohol and your beer and uh, your stein or whatever you kids call it these days. Uh, but you need to sit back a little bit, learn a little bit more from people who know what they're doing. No, no, Bill. I just told you how to get people from your lab to graduate. People are dropping out of this program faster than they graduate from your lab. I think you should be fine, not me. Anurban, I have to say, I agree. Bill, let me instruct you in a technique which may be difficult for you, but is quite facile for me. You're fired. We were down to the final four candidates, but to determine who the best two were, I knew I could not rely on my judgment alone. I had to bring in my right hand man, Mon Capitan Roger Chen. And it was his incisive questions which I knew would expose the phenotype of the feeble minded mutants. So, um, tell me. Why? Why the rat preparation? Why the, why the slice? Well, uh, I like a lot uh, the rat preparation because you see, uh, the brain of the rat looks a lot of uh, garlic. And I like to, to prepare like this first, you chop the head off. How do you find the process of grant writing? Well, grant writing? Well, it's time consuming because there's so much stuff that you have to think about. And actually, I was just writing a grant, and I had to review all of the literature because 
no one's really done that, you know? It's amazing that no one's done that, but you have to look through, because you don't want to leave anybody out, so you need to go through and you need to read all the classic papers, because people usually just say old ones, and they don't, they never look them up, so they just say all the wrong things. Well, um, you do seem to have a very interesting resume. Um, uh, it says uh, you were a cowboy. Well, yes, yeah, friend, that's right. That's, that's odd. Do you think being a cowboy helps you in science? Well, friend, I absolutely do. Uh, when, you know, like me, if, if you spent some time out on a ranch and you've done some roping and you've done some slaughtering and things like that, after that point, pretty much anything is easy. Attention, FBI here. Yeah, that's right. Looking for this man. And that appears to be you, sir. Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh, no, sir. No, no, no. no. because we study development and regulation by calcium driven transcription factors. That's how we got crashed. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's an interesting story. Oh, oh, oh. Calcium? You don't, you don't buffer the calcium? No. What? Well, how can you not buffer the calcium? Don't you know about the calcium? The calcium, there's calcium in everything. These books have calcium. The books, like the bindings of books, there's calcium. It floats freely. The, the, the ceiling tiles here, they have calcium in them. It comes down into dust and it falls into your solutions. What? Obviously, you're not a chemist. These biologists, they know nothing about calcium. They know nothing about what they put in their solutions. You've got to do better than that. So, Rajay, tell me, what do you think? Who were the truly great candidates and who can we shovel to the curb? and with Nick, aka Yosemite Sam, out of the picture, it was clear who the final two candidates should be. Now, Sasha and Anirvan, you did great. You impressed Roger, and that is not easy to do. Massimo, although I like your science, I know that you are going to do fantastic work, and one day you will become an investigator. However, now you are a little bit young, and Roger had a little bit of trouble understanding what you were saying. Now, I'm sure you could communicate effectively with me, but you need to talk not only to me, but also to the public as a whole, as one of these esteemed members of this high scientific society. So, I'm going to have to say, you're fired. Massimo, you will be doing very I am sure in the future you will get there, just not today. For the final task, Sasha and Anirvan would need help. So I brought back the failed contestants, including Nick, who had sprung out of jail with a few spritzes of my cologne, and had them pick teams. The first person to choose will be Anirvan. Of course. I'll go with Jeff. Okay. 
TJ. Of course. Well, I'm delegating the choosing now to Jeff here. Well, uh, I guess we'll take Moss and them. Lisa, we need more women in neuroscience. We'll take David. started with a furious brainstorming session, where ideas were passed around faster than a rotation student with no skills. I, I mean, I really think the way we should begin is with the levels of neuroscience. So if, is, there a, is there a pointer here? But we should take a step back and think about uh, what the different levels are. We, we really start uh, with molecules at kind of the nanometer scale, and, and it goes on down to uh, something like the central nervous system, which really occupies a, a meter uh, life scale. That's, uh, that's more than... Uh, or the ten orders of magnitude in between. Good. You know, you know, in that middle scale, you, you got me thinking. You got me thinking. I was working the other day in the salt greenhouse. I'm not. Don't see how this connects to the uh, levels of neuroscience. I have I have these soybeans there. They are flourishing. And the soybeans, in times of stress, they can resort to asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction allows them to bud. If we could harness this mechanism for human reproduction, this would really have huge implications. It would be a wonderful impact. One well, of my postdocs used to work on something uh, similar to that. Guys, no, this is good. This is great. I like this idea of the soybean and reproduction. We should, but what really, we need to think big. We need to think really large. And I think what neuroscience, what the field of neuroscience really needs, what really wants to happen in the field of neuroscience, there need to be more women, because there are no women in neuroscience. If there were more women, there wouldn't be any more arguments about pre versus post synaptic and top down versus bottom up. It's ridiculous. We need more women. So I think we should take the method of soybean reproduction and apply it to humans. Okay, guys, this is it. This is what we're going to do. We are going to make clones of me. And then we're going to send them off into the world. And they're going to make more and more labs full of women neuroscientists. We can do this, guys. Come on. That's awesome, Sasha. Yeah. OK, let's go. Let's go. Meanwhile, Anirvan's team hatched its own plan. All right, team. We don't have very much time here. I say we take a simple system and understand it completely. Sorry, old man. Your star has faded. This is my team, and it's my turn to shine. I think we should do something big, something with immediate clinical application. What, like stem cells? Stem cells. Now stem cells are a means to an end, a financial boondoggle for the state of California. But something we might as well use to our benefit, you know. Uh, what I was thinking about affects nearly half the population of this country, so it's important. And it was once a bit taboo to talk about, but due to recent Super Bowl commercials, it's quite the normal conversation now around the proverbial water cooler. We should use stem cells to cure restless third leg syndrome. Restless third what? Restless third leg syndrome. But the near one, we humans have only two. Oh, the third leg of the devil. La terza gamba do diavolo. They were talking about the penis. Beyond your 
kind of hard. My first mistake was explaining to Terry how to do the logic in Minesweep. He never stopped playing. And then I was kind of frustrated with I was kind of frustrated with Sasha. But I'm getting really stoked about four Sashas at the same time. Okay, let's have a plan here. Bill, you are in charge of stem cell acquisition and maintenance. Uh, Kleinfeld, you are in charge of the animal model and applying the stem cells. Chef Massimo. Uh, we'll, we'll work on a literature review on it, Yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, uh, we should get to work now, okay? What are you going to do, Honor Vaughn? Well, don't you worry about me, Bill. I'll be working very hard. Now get to work because I'm counting on you guys. I have a doctor's appointment in 15 minutes, so I'll see you later, okay? I sent Marla to go sniff out any trouble such as team might be having. Terry, where, where? You had to know there was going to be a bomb there. It's so obvious. With a little, little uh, yeah. freeze So where is everyone? Why, why aren't you working on your project? Uh, you might where? want to ask Sasha. Well, where is Sasha? And what's that smell? It's like, it's like skunk? should really consider the pigeon. Its brain is remarkably similar to some humans. Human's third leg and pigeon's beak, they have remarkable homology. Why do you think they call it the peck? Oi, Gavalt, I can't take watching this team anymore. They're mashuga in there. I feel like I'm going, I'm igga babooga in the kepi. It's a total shanda. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Hi, hi, Terry, how are you? Hi, sir, thanks. Uh, I want to let you know there's actually uh, an opening for a postdoc in my lab right now. And uh, you know, I, I met my first wife uh, when she was a postdoc under in my, in my lab. Oh, um, that's, that's very flattering. And um, I think you're a, a wonderful scientist, Terry. But um, I actually already have a faculty position here at Scripps. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. And oh, oh, first wife, um, aren't you still married? Oh. Bren, are you trying to tarnish the reputation of this dear little lady? No, you see, because I was, my, my, my simulator, except for the computers. I don't think they'll bother you anymore. Oh, guys, guys, no, this is never going to work. We need to work together. Hey, come on back. Come on, back. Yeah. come on, it's okay. Come on, guys. We need to work together. See, this is why there need to be more women in neuroscience. We don't have these problems. We need to work in harmony. Come, people. I, I can feel the, the discord and energy of this place. We gotta get out. I have a much better way for us to go and touch each other's cheeks. You've got mail. Terry! I've lost it! Uh, I've got a new email. Uh, it's from the collective mind of the group. Really? What does it say? Huh. 
Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Beatrice told me about this. This is a uh, Lox Peace Site. When I saw your fine physique, I was into you like a train. I love it when you speak your soul urban. Oh, I love your brain. I love your brain. Yes, I love your brain. I love your brain. Oh, I love your brain. I love your brain. Gonna say it again, I love your brain. I love your brain. It's a beautiful brain. Wanna be with your brain. Hey guys. Hey guys, we are having a surprise visit from Governor Schwarzenegger to take on our stem cell project. So please be doing your work. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hello, you little girl in my sciences. How are you? How are you? My name is Arjun. I'm Arjun. How are you? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? You must pump up, man. Pump up. Two more push ups. Oh, push-ups, how are you? What is your experiment? What do you do? How do you make stem cells? Ah, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. I, I got this guy. This guy, old guy. Oh, you have a big table. Oh, this is great. Can I bench your table? It looks heavy. It looks small. I have not done my squats too bad. I do more squats. Ah, oh, you little girl in scientist. You don't get excited. You must get excited about the stem cells. I need a three billion, gazillion dollars to do stem cells. He thought you'd do nothing. This is very bad. Very bad. I look around. Oh, what is this? This is crap. This is scheisse. Anaman, little gosh, little goshy girly man. You are in violation of many, many codes. I should terminate this project. I should terminate you. I can crush you with one hand. But you do experiments on muscles. Muscle. I have always wanted to have control of every muscle in my body. But I have a problem with that one, you know? It gets around. It's a problem for getting the governor or wrong. So, I let you do your stuff. But be very careful. You mess up one more time, I'll be back. Now, what is that second day? I need to do some punch lapping, you know? Ah. Working for Honor Von? Yeah, that was kind of a pain in the ass. And let me tell you, that Arnold is one son of a bitch. So Massimo, what makes you tick? Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, and these my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very fine. So happy together Keeping up on the most important work that's been done about third leg syndrome in, in the literature that's available on the subject. Look, Honorvon is too high strung. I, 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 I can't work in this environment with him anymore. It's, it's, it's too much stress. I'm, I'm done. I'm quitting. In the final hours, I checked up on the team's progress myself. Sasha, tell me, how are you doing? I heard some very interesting rumors about your project. Yeah? But what? Uh, well, I hear you are somehow multiplying or crossing some sort of interesting vegetarian things I do not understand. Yeah. Uh, could you please uh, explain? I, I'm, I'm curious how, how you're progressing. You only have uh, two hours left. Oh, it's not a problem. Our team, our team is awesome. They're so smart. It's great. We figured out how to make clones of myself. It's fantastic. We're going to revolutionize the way science works. That sounds uh, like something science needs. More Sasha. Oh, absolutely. You'll see. You'll see. It's great. So we were basing it off of a test protocol that we had a few years ago. 
it didn't work so well. His tofu legs couldn't support him, so he passed away after about a few, after two weeks or so. Right. But I think we finally got it. We finally got it. I, we just needed to add a little more purple. So let me show you our prototype. There seems to be a problem with that yeah. one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. She she was a little spastic. See, I think her I think her VOR is a little off, so she's just like this. It's a little weird. Mm -hmm. But we, we figured it out. We just we had a little too much purple. We had to step back on the purple a little bit. But now we really got it. We really got it. Okay. Come on. Alright, so <laughs> Oh my goodness. Aren't they gorgeous? They're fabulous. I have to say, I have to say, uh, I love what you've done here. Uh, each one more beautiful than the next. Uh, although it is a bit odd, it feels like uh, the Special Olympics of Science with all of these uh, little girls running around like this. Oh no, but it's great! I'm telling you, science just needs more women. It will balance everything. Be like yin and yang. Everything will work in harmony. I'm a science genius girl. I want the science fair. Sasha and Anirvan completed their projects and submitted their manuscripts to the Nature Editor. I carefully weighed all of the available evidence and brought them back into my conference room to deliver the verdict. Sasha, Anirvan, you're here for the final time. I have to make a decision. Who to give the grant to? Now, I saw that your team were working very hard. And I even checked up on your progress, and it looked like you were doing a good job. However, I just talked to the nature editor, and he was appalled. I have to say, I have never seen two pieces of paper so weak I could not wipe my ass with it. Sasha, what were you thinking? Where did you get this stupid idea? What are you talking about? Our project is fantastic. Everyone in my lab worked so hard. Everyone came together and it was gorgeous. So what wanted to happen is we wanted to get these clones, but it was based uh, on this great idea that EJ had about the swing. Let me tell you something. 
with the last breath of life I have in my mouth, with my last moment on earth, I would not think, I would not consider to do this stupid experiment. Unless, of course, we were cloning me. Now, Anivan, you are not immune. I want to know, do you think that you could really take your out of your ass, put it on a blue plate, and shove it in front of me and have me eat it? No, no, this was a great project and we got great results. We were out to use stem cells and made to justify this $3 million to cure the most common affliction for the male species. And you know, even the governor likes it. We are like this now. He calls me the little gosh. And we this little goshy girly man. And I think that you should try to keep in mind that praise from a Republican is not praise. Now, Sasha's project, on the other hand, it recycled. There was tofu. And on top of anything else, she produced more Democrats. Yeah. Uh, public opinion matters. And the public, public opinion, opinion does public not matter. matter. All that matters is the scientific opinion. No, not at all. Yes, it's all you Now, I wanted to know, I've already heard from Marla, I need to know what is Harvey's opinion. Charles, I don't care. I see. Oh, what are we going to do with these two? This is the most difficult decision I have ever had to make in my life even more difficult than what colored leather to put in my Porsche. Now, on one hand, we have onion farm. You did, it is true, create a cure for a syndrome which affects much of the population. However, your controls are sh <laughs> It's a total bust! Sasha! I have to say, it was quite impressive to see that you actually succeeded in human clone. However, if you look out the window at the Howard Hughes office, they're picketing right now. I have to say, Anurban, you advanced science even a little bit. Uh -huh. You, Sasha, your project has retarded the flow of science, the future of science. Sasha, you're fired. Hi. Anurban, you're hired. I paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence But committed no crime And bad mistakes I've made a few I've had my shells and kicked in my face But I've come through I've to go Are we on yet? I, I wasn't sure which which one. Um, I kind of like the, the green. I think, I think the green is is, is probably what, what works best right now. Okay, I'm ready. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <good. laughs> Every investigator needs a good wine cellar to keep his close friends happy. For instance, I keep Giovanni Poletti happy right here. Unfortunately, our stem cells have been contaminated with a peculiar amount of sugar. Therefore, the subject's third leg is no longer coming slapping. I've taken my bows and my curtain calls. Look, this is a wonderful weapon. 
representation, representation of the um, God damn it. <laughs> you brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all. Get out of my conference room. Goodbye. Yeah! You know, we would have gotten kicked out of the competition we if you competition. had just stopped kicking my chair in the beginning. Experiment. Yeah, well, I've seen I'm your experiments you in your right life, David. Now, you haven't published it in science in five years. I know, you know, and the, 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 doing you know, I don't think that makes any sense at all, David. The only reason that we're out here now is because you couldn't keep it together. Can you smell something? No. What? Oh, the hell's going on with your cake? Oh my god! David, what'd you do? I don't uh, believe it. I bring it to here, I've here for five minutes, and we're doing fine, and all of a sudden, you come out here and look what happens. Oh my god! No, what? I mean, should we serve it? Uh, you put this up. <laughs> no, no, lemon juice. Use the, use the. Yeah. Oh my God, you're gonna sell lemon. I consider it a challenge before the whole human. 